The pavilion is now a permanent structure. It was originally built uh, only to be a temporary structure, but people liked it a lot. And then it appeared on social media and international websites. Uh, some of Singapore banks had it as a, as a web page image. Uh, so these are things that just happened naturally. Uh, so we are of course very happy with the public reaction to a building like this. My name is uh, Thomas Schröpfer and I was in charge of this project that we stand in here today. The inspiration uh, behind the design was really the experience of walking under lush tropical trees, uh, which essentially provide a pleasant outdoor experience in the public realm. So we wanted to recreate that with cutting edge design technology in the context of uh, the SG50, the 50th anniversary of Singapore. For this pavilion, we had the chance to test a lot of things, uh, a lot of technology that we play with at the university. So opportunities like this do not come along too often. So we had a very enlightened client, the Singapore government. Uh, to essentially materialize a vision what a future architecture could look like. Last year we received uh, the highest honor in Singapore, the President's Design Award, but to get another international award, a very important international award, makes us very, very happy. This is actually the ninth award that we get for this uh, project. The Future of Us is a capstone event to Singapore's Golden Jubilee celebration held in Gardens by the Bay. The exhibition provides multi-sensory exhibits and access interactive exhibits to encourage visitors to imagine what living in Singapore would look like in 2030. I'm Zingyi, I'm from the Future of Us team in CLC, led by PSPMO to organise the Future of Us exhibition in 2015. CLC was involved from conception to design to implementation of the event. The team wanted to make sure that the exhibition's main permanent structure would look futuristic, built in such a way that pushes the envelope, making use of the latest technology to construct a structure that was truly of the future. Hence, CLC approached SUTD, which had uh, developed an award-winning prototype that made use of cutting-edge technology to discuss the possibility of scaling up the prototype into the pavilion for the Future of Us exhibition. CLC then worked with PICO, the main exhibition um, contractor, um, engineers as well as SUTD to make sure that the structure, when scaled out and built, would not compromise public safety. My name is Stella Ru and I'm a student at the Singapore University of Technology and Design. The first project that I encountered to do with architecture was this project, The Future of Us. It was a great experience for me as I was involved in the actual fabrication of the metal panels that were used in this pavilion. We played around with prototyping the panels and uh, laser cutting them to create the perforations and then we hand bent them to actually see like how we were going to uh, make, make this secret panel that we had. All 11,000 panels are unique and each of the perforations are designed in such a way that depending on the amount of sunlight they receive through simulation, uh, they allow the maximum amount of daylight without you feeling the glare if you were to look up at the panels. All these innovations are actually scalable, such that when there is market demand, industrial capabilities can be ramped up to build this in a similar way. The design also helped with um, the construction process uh, as it was completed in half the time generally needed for a structure of a similar complexity and size. Such design serves as a good model uh, for extending to sustainable design thinking to temporary large-scale structure which very often generate a high amount of waste. I think we were able to prove that uh, with a high level of precision and efficiency, you can do things that are not limited to standardization and something that hopefully uh, inspires other people to do the same.